What is up, guys? Today we are talking about the just the future of the video game industry. I don't know if it's actually doomed or not. I feel like it's kind of up in the air. Uh, it, it feels like we are paying for like honestly paperweights at this point, dead ass. But we'll, we'll get into it. I feel like there's like a couple things that we should talk about first. But let's just get into this whole debacle of first off xbox you know putting their primary uh you know their exclusive titles on playstation and maybe even nintendo consoles and then also let's talk about how playstation is not going to have a like a, a first party game until 2025 all right so let's 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 go ahead and get into that first so based on here right okay so earlier in the week there was a uh there's like a little leak or rumor going around that xbox was going to stop making uh games for their console only and there was going to be more games coming to playstation 5 and the nintendo switch right so they ended up in light of those rumors right they decided to go ahead and have a podcast which i did not listen to i'm not gonna lie because from what i heard that could have all been an email and they were just yapping away but what we can look at right now is what this interview has up for us right so for example right let's just go ahead and read the beginning right microsoft has been gradually moving xbox away from the idea of a single piece of hardware in recent years with ambitions to reach billions of gamers across consoles pcs and mobile de devices so if anybody has no like idea on what microsoft has been doing like let's say if you're like kind of new to the gamer space uh what they've been doing recently is you know obviously the game pass game pass is like their their baby right they have like this huge thing where you can go ahead and pay ten dollars a month and have this huge library of video games um for you know like seemingly cheap you know for like way cheaper than you would think now obviously this would be like netflix right where certain games would leave the said subscription but you know you would still have all these fucking games and sometimes you can play these games day one because a lot of times too a lot of people just don't play games again they don't replay games certain games don't have a lot of replayability so some people are okay with it but to me i'm always like okay i want to own my shit i don't want to necessarily like you know like for tv shows okay maybe right but like video games where i put my actual time into it and it's like my own personal thing that's kind of been like an iffy like subject for me but besides that right that's kind of what their like main focus has been besides like having their own like you know exclusives right they've been trying to get a lot of people to get game pass and buy an xbox so then that way they could go ahead and you know just make more money that way <laughs> than making their own exclusives it feels like um but yeah so as it says right here bringing four xbox exclusives games to ps5 and nintendo switch amid an xbox everywhere effort inside of microsoft that will likely see even more games arriving on rival consoles now okay so this is interesting for one part because there has been like a huge like console war for years bro people would have rivalry like they would literally attack niggas in public maybe not literally but at least when i was in school like what you got you got an xbox or a playstation i remember when xbox used to be on the same level as playstation dead eyes but obviously over the years it started falling off and even recently like even now it's like yeah bro get a ps5 because you're not playing fucking you know like i don't even know what the fuck you playing on xbox now like besides just cod and other shit you know like you might as well get a ps5 uh but regardless though um i'm, I'm not taking any sides all right i don't want any attacks I don't want any attacks, all right? Don't fucking attack me. I see what y'all do to Mighty Keith on Twitter, okay? For voicing opinions and shit. Don't attack me, all right? I'm just saying what happened when I was in school, okay? Now, the console war thing is interesting, though, because I wonder how this is going to shift everybody's perception on, like, consoles in general. Because for Xbox to give its exclusives, like Hi-Fi Rush like fucking what was the other games that they might bring over i heard there was like a rumored list i don't know if this is actually public information yet i can skim through here i don't think it's actually public information yet i'm pretty sure it's just like yeah no 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 it, it's just it's just those are just rumors i remember it was like hi-fi rush uh they were gonna try to put starfield on the playstation and a couple other games but from what i understand uh it doesn't really you know it doesn't really seem like a bad idea because those games probably would sell more if they were on like more mainstream consoles like the Switch and the PlayStation. Uh, and I say more mainstream and look, like, like I said, like I'm just being honest, sales wise, the Switch is doing better than 
Hmm, is it doing better than both of these? Probably. I could probably look up the numbers, but I'm not going to right now. But the Switch is doing better than PlayStation 5 and Xbox only because uh, the Series X is and PlayStation 5 are kind of new and there's like really no point in getting a next gen console. If you have an Xbox One or a PS4, you probably are still, you know, enjoying yourself. Maybe. Are you guys? I don't know. I don't know. Me personally, I have a PS5 and I barely play any of the games on them. I think the only game I completed was Spider-Man 2, Miles Morales. I don't really like God of War that much. I mean, I'll probably get into it. Uh, it's just I'm like not super duper interested. Uh, Tekken 8. But I could also get that on PC, you know? Like, there's, like, really no reason to be using my PS5. It's kind of just sitting there. I'm not giving it away. I already know. Give it to me. Then. No, no. No, I know I know one of y'all are going to say some shit like that, but no. Uh, regardless, I feel like... What was, what was the point? <laughs> I forgot what my point was. But either way, right? Like, it, it's interesting that they're putting these games on PlayStation 5 and Switch because I feel like those games will do more. Bro, okay, Hi-Fi Rush was a really interesting looking game but i was like damn this would be fire if i could play it on my playstation 5 or if i could play this on my switch i mean i could obviously play it on pc but i have like this weird thing where it's like i only want to play a game that like looks like it needs to be ran on my pc on my pc rather than if it's like okay i want to play this on the couch while i'm relaxing i definitely get it on like my playstation or my switch because i could just hook that up to the tv and then just play from there um which i know that there's other ways to get said games onto the uh tv like by like streaming it but it's not gonna feel right but you, you know um regardless though it, it is interesting because i remember that xbox was trying to buy out nintendo for a while and that they were gonna do some interesting things I, like they got laughed out i'm pretty sure nintendo laughed their asses out of the meeting uh when they're trying to buy the switch and they're still trying to buy it if i remember correctly all right i'm just going off the top of my dome i'm not gonna research shit right now but if i remember correctly xbox was buying so much stock of nintendo that once they end up hitting like what 51 percent they could just buy out nintendo flat but nintendo is going to always end up having 51 percent, something like that it's it's I'm, I'm simplifying it by a lot right now but it was definitely something like that which was very interesting to me because i was like why <laughs> why do y'all think that y'all can just do that like, y'all really think you could just buy mario no no bro like no bro like i mean it would be crazy to see mario on the xbox but now we might see fucking master chief on a PlayStation, we might see fucking Hi-Fi Rush on the Switch. We might be able to play Starfield on the Switch. Pro probably not. But for right now, it looks like a lot of the things, a, a lot of this shit just looks like they're kind of running out of time and they're running out of money. It looks like to me that they're probably going to end up turning into a Sega. I know people are thinking that I know I'm not the only one. A lot of people that I have been talking to about this situation have been saying like Xbox might turn into Sega where they just stop focusing on console shit and just focus on games, which I would prefer because what games have they released? I know they, uh, here comes here comes the comments, but that asks, what games have they released that are getting critically acclaimed numbers right now? Hi-Fi Rush? Maybe. Starfield? Eh. But what, what else? I really can't name any other Xbox game. Fucking Sunset Overdrive, they're not even making that shit right now. So, or Halo uh, fell off. Like, they're not even, I don't even know what new content they're making for Halo right now. So, to me, personally, they might have to fucking fold in, bro. I remember a long time ago, I think this was a game theory video. It was like a video, I think it was, uh, it, it might have been Matt, Pat, and Reggie having a debate on whether or not Nintendo should be a publisher only rather than a developer. And it's crazy coming back and turning it around. Because now it feels like Xbox is in that same situation that Nintendo's in. They put all that money into their shit, into Game Pass. I'm being dead ass. There's no way that they're making a profit from Game Pass. I feel like to be even be able to buy those games, like I feel like you have to give, uh, from what I remember, I feel like they had to have given um, those companies a specific amount of money to be able to have their game day one on Game Pass. Because there's no way I can play Persona 3 Reload right now on my PC for free. Technically, I could get it for free because I have the two-week tri uh, trial. But... Um, I could play it for free and pay nothing and then just drop it and then never pay for that shit again. Because that's just crazy as fuck. Because you know how so many people are going to beat the game and never actually play the actual game. And like, unless they drop DLC and then they take it off the game pass once the DLC is up or like the trial's over so you have to keep paying for it. And maybe a certain amount goes. I don't know if it's like a uh, like like um, TV services like a Netflix. But I don't know. You know, I, I feel like we've been talking about Xbox for a, a long time. I didn't need to talk about Xbox for 10 minutes. But we can go into fucking uh, PlayStation. 
so with PlayStation, this is very interesting because like I said before, it feels like my my PlayStation's like literally sitting there collecting dust right now. But Sony recently released this whole ass fucking transcript um and it says right here all right so now i would like to explain our current view on the outlook for this segment next fiscal year okay regarding the ps5 hardware which will enter its fifth year since launch which is crazy as shit to even really think about uh partially due to its entering the latter half of the console cycle we aim to optimize sales with greater emphasis of the balance with profits so we anticipate a gradual decline in unit sales from next fiscal year onwards it makes sense I feel like a lot of people were not able to get a PS5 just due to the fact that people were scalping this shit. But it, like I'm saying, it, it, it makes sense why they would say that, you know, okay, now that people are actually having the console, oh, we're going to probably decline in our sales for right now. And But then they end up saying, we expect, we expect third-party software sales to continue to expand gradually due to the expansion of PS5 installed base and the high level of user engagement. Okay, sure right I mean, I mean i mean i guess right it feels like they're kind of relying on third party over their first party shit which like i'm saying oh hold on my camera's fucking up <laughs> which to me is like okay so you're you're worrying about or you're focusing on third party games to boost your sales your software sales but then we're not gonna right here it says regarding first party software we aim to continue to focus on producing high quality works and developing live service games Mm, right but while major products are currently in under development we do not plan to release any major existing franchise titles next fiscal year like god of War ragnarok and marvel spider-man sorry i don't know why i said it like that but marvel spider-man why i mean not why i get okay look games are going to be coming like are becoming like longer and longer to make they're becoming harder and harder to make maybe not harder and harder i feel like it should be like relatively easier but also it's going to be hard in new areas like like visually i feel like graphics wise and fidelity wise i feel like that shit's gonna be harder but like gameplay wise i feel like that shouldn't be as hard you know uh but yeah so it feels like to me like look okay although the burden of acquisition related costs will ease next fiscal year which also yeah you guys just bought out a shit ton of fucking companies i mean i know it was mainly microsoft that did this but i just think it's interesting you know um, although the burden of acquisition related costs will ease next fiscal year expect profit from first party software to decrease slightly from this fiscal year due to the impact of decrease in sales <sighs> i'm gonna be honest with y'all they're doing all this shit right all this shit just to just for nintendo to drop a trailer for princess peach in in fucking in in in, in costumes and people are liking the fuck out of that. Bro, hold on, let me pull this shit up, bro, hold on. Look, look at this shit. Oh, this shit is low quality as fuck. I'm on Twitter right now, my bad. But look, people are getting excited over fucking this? I'm not saying it's bad. Like, I'm gonna play this shit. This is gonna be gas. Princess Peach? That's the only white woman I'll support on God. Well, that sounds crazy. That's a joke. Anyways, um, yeah, I fucking love Princess Peach, man. You know, like, this game might be cool. This game might be cool, maybe. You don't see the gameplay? It's just hype. I'm, I'm excited. This shit looks, this shit looks gas. This is the game that they're dropping as one of their main, like, you know, first party things. And, and like, I bring this game up as an example. Like, Nintendo is, the people are like, oh, Nintendo's not even in the game right now. And it's honestly, yeah, they're, they're not, because it feels like they're ahead of the game. I feel like they're ahead of the game by not being a part of the game. You know, like this whole war situation where we have um sony versus microsoft versus nintendo but like oh but nintendo just doesn't count because they're just for kid games and shit or their consoles don't really have games that look good but the thing is these games sell bro like these games sell like tekken 8 just sold three mil and i'm not gonna say that that's bad like it's really good that they were able to sell three mil right fighting games selling millions of copies is a fucking great thing to happen but nintendo games do that shit on the regular bro like legit like the worst nintendo game first party nintendo game to drop can still sell like 1 million copies. Like dead ass. I'm not even lying. Let me let me go ahead and let me put up the fucking Nintendo fiscal year, bro. Give me a Okay. I can't even really find this shit. But hold on, man. Hold on, man. But look, you see what I mean? Look, I'm gonna just zoom in on the shit. I know I'm on a wiki page. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not I'm not fucking super duper I'm not super duper uh you know professional when it comes to this shit. But look, wait no, wrong one, wrong one. Hold on, give me a second. Look, look at this. 
the Mario Strikers Rangers game, from what I remember, everybody was saying that shit was dog shit, garbage, booty butter, ass, right? But somehow, in 2022, worldwide release, they made 2 million sales. They sold 2 million copies for that shit ass game. And you're telling me that these great games like Tekken and other games are just now catching up. And you're telling me that this these these other games are just continuously growing to hitting like 60 million like software sales, bro. It's crazy, man. You know, and and I think that just goes to show that I feel like running your own race is the ideal situation that everybody needs to be part of. Be a part of. I feel like if Sony just did its own thing, like I'm fine with them saying, okay, look, our first party console games are gonna take a longer, a lot longer to come out. That's fine. I get that. But I feel like you're making it, making me lose like the point of having a fucking PlayStation right now. Like, okay, like I, oh, you could, you could play certain games with your friends, you know. But most of my friends that I actually play games with have a PC, you know. Most of my friends that have a PlayStation, you know, okay, well, we'll they'll have crossplay, you know. So it's like the game, the game specifically will have crossplay if we do want to play with them, you know. But I don't know. It just doesn't. It doesn't seem worth it to buy games or uh, game consoles right now when so like the switch this 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 console that everybody is saying is ass and dog shit which i mean and i'm one of them i'm everybody <laughs> i'm everybody this shit is ass but i love it so much because of like first of all comfortability right the games that come out on it like i'm actually able to play a game that i would not be able to play on any other console you know i feel like console exclusivity just i don't know it makes a lot of sense i'm rambling at this point look basically what i'm saying is nintendo is looking like they're gonna fucking do some crazy shit this year especially with the switch 2 rumors going around and just a lot of a lot of like hinted at games that we've been waiting for for a while and we just don't even know what we're gonna end up getting right and xbox and sony for the first time ever or the first time in a long time really it looks like they're gonna be the ones dragging their feet and they're gonna be the ones trying to play catch up with nintendo because when the switch 2 drops this year right if it's as good from what we've heard you know there's a lot of rumors there's a lot of rumors that it might be as good as a uh ps4 which i know what you're thinking bro a ps4 we are so past that that is a, that's a huge that's a huge jump <laughs> from what we're at right now i feel like this shit's worse than a ps3 but if we're at least base ps4 level i'll take what i can get to get shit running at 30 frames at least man damn it but look honestly at this point it's, it's gonna be an interesting year I, want, I can't wait to see what the end of the year looks like in terms of games that we know are coming out or what consoles are coming out because i feel like once we do like a retrospective on what happens this year with like xbox releasing more games on other consoles and and playstation holding back this year is probably nintendo's year if i'm being honest so with that being the case <laughs> with that being the case thanks for watching i appreciate every single one of you um go ahead and leave a like down below go ahead subscribe if you want and if you want to see more videos from me go ahead and hit that notification bell bro you see that little one right down there go ahead and press it if you want to see my videos every now and then i'm gonna have a lot more content coming out as of late you know i've been slacking off i've been not really slacking i've been just kind of you know doing some research you know just just seeing what works you know but a lot more content is gonna be coming out at a much quicker pace so stay tuned for that but i'll see you guys next time in the next video so peace out